Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Marcus and today we are playing more Hearts of Iron 4. So, let's get started. Okay, so starting off here. Uh, let's do Warp Bonds. We cannot do Race for the Bomb. Uh, I can do both of them. I get it super fast. So pretty, oh, okay, I can't. Do we need aluminium? Actually, what kind of resources do we need at this point? Really only steel. It actually occurred to me that like we should probably have tried to fight for some of uh, the Soviet steel actually. Because uh, yeah. I really messed up actually not inviting the Soviet Union. I realize that now. But um Oh well. Is this here? Yeah, that's a little bit. I have also, if not mistaken, maxed out infrastructure in everywhere there is steel as well, or at least I'm working on doing it, so Maybe it's actually time to do a little bit of building more dockyards, actually. Because we are kind of low on that, actually. So, in all these 80 ones. Uh, right now, I think maybe that's a bit more pressing, actually, than military factories, because we can have these amount of supply. But yeah. There we go. Yeah, we can build a couple of these too, sure. One there, some there. Eight. So, we are of course working on or preparing for the invasion of the United States. And I think it's when we have decided that we're gonna go against the US first, which means we're not gonna take or deal with Canada. Uh, we're gonna have to actually be quick though. Ooh. Okay. Uh, because the US does have a lot of stuff and they are actually going to be capable of doing or gearing up quite fast. So we should probably like do a bit quick actually. Uh, which probably means we want to start doing that. Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of island hopping first though. To get to take the Hawaiian stuff, uh, which is going to be annoying. Yes, I can actually clean up all of that. Uh, you can march there. And you already took that, so just do that. Cool. Yeah, like you can do it. And you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna be that. Um, Suppose with that in mind, we should probably actually go and prepare a couple naval invasions of a couple areas. That's a lot of divisions. Probably around 200, maybe even, probably more, 250 maybe. Uh, they were probably going to have troops in Europe. What are their planes like, actually? Hmm. What plan crimson? Take Canada? Hmm. Okay. Uh, of course, we're going to have to also attack the Philippines. So, we need to set up some uh, naval invasions of various things, actually. In fact. Uh, the problem, of course, though, right now is we're going to more or less need to get naval supremacy in the Pacific. Which is going to be difficult. Uh, one of the primary problems we have right now is we simply do not have the range to really do too much. As we can see. Uh, this is so this is of course one of the things I messed up a little bit with. I went the, the naval arsenal as opposed to the Pacific Fleet. This of course is important because so I only really saw about the like reduced armor on capital ships, which is like, well, it's gonna be f and heavy attack. It's gonna be fine. I just need to actually build more of them. The problem is the range, because the max range is minus fifty percent here. If we actually went with this instead, it would actually have been a plus twenty five percent. 
So, plus also more dex sets for carries. It's gonna be fine. So, in fact, we actually went, like, we're kind of losing 75% range, which is pretty insane. Uh, there's a cheesy strategy you can do here. You can actually go and take this one first and then refit them when you get the Pacific one, but I didn't bother doing that. So, yeah. So, I didn't really look at the range number because the range in Pacific is really critical. In Indian Ocean Atlantic, it's not a problem, but in here it is. Um, so, yeah. The thing though, of course, is there are so many islands that even with this, there's not really a problem actually getting naval, like covering the entire Pacific. It's just, of course, you know, this stuff is owned by the US. So, yeah. Let's go and start prepping some naval invasion. So I'm thinking, Do you just go straight for Hawaii or do we go through whatever this place is? Just not all. Let's just go straight for Hawaii. So I'm actually going to try to enable. Okay, I can only do one. It should be fine. Any actual naval innovation stuff? Shore bombardment? Yes. Can I. Uh, this army here could probably just go and invade the Philippines. So I'm gonna actually... Those two can join there. This army can do the initial naval invasion. So I'll probably take Manila. And I'll split you in half. So you can naval invade this place. And you can naval in wave there to there. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to put you into a field marshal group. I have field marshals, by the way. Uh, and then we still need a couple more naval nations. I'm going to wait with these. Well, actually, I probably should take them immediately, shouldn't I? Maybe you should take midway. Yeah. Although I could also, of course, do a second invasion of Hawaii. Maybe that's better. Because I'm expecting there to be a relatively decent amount of stuff here, actually. So that did nothing, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Not sure why. No. Oh. Did you. Oh, okay, I think that worked. No, I didn't. So, I feel the naval images have always been like slightly broken. There's one port, but there's also a uh, supply finger. Again. So that's that. Um, oh, we still have another. We still have these. Uh, maybe I can split. Hey, what? Oops. You can enable in Wade from there. Take one. Wake. Uh, where's Guam? What? Oh. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, um, right, okay, this is fine, yeah, this is like, oh, any bad stuff here? 
Han var i Mallorca. Why is there a convoy, sir? Wait, are we actually trying the US for this way? That shouldn't be. That's right. Okay. Uh, we don't have uh, landing, like, Minecraft capacity. Okay. Escorts. Uh, I'm gonna put you on naval exercise for a little bit. Because as it turns out, actually, I'm kind of needing that. Stuff and stuff. Uh, let's get the cruiser hull just because we need those. And that's actually it for naval stuff. I'm not going to worry too much about these two. I guess that means air, perhaps. That's already done. Engineering is done. Industry is done. So it's kind of air or it's going to be armor things. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Okay, so these two don't really do anything. There's going to be armor things. We can get a better medium tank. We're going to produce those there. So, we'll be fine. We can get these, but... Let's get the advanced small airframe. And on that, I think we need things. Oh. I guess I missed cannons. Nice. So now it's kind of just what we want. So does this give us anything useful? Last time, command ability. Let's get these, I guess, just because. Uh, let's get the better engines. How do I... I'm not sure why I'm actually trading in there. To me, it doesn't make sense. Well, maybe something I just don't know. Yeah, at least I, can, I guess I can make the actual armies, but... No. Oh, look! This magically fixes itself. I guess you just have to take a uh, day or something, I don't know. So that now, yeah, so the plan now is gonna be, uh, let's have this one here, I guess just to be the German front, Germany. So that's just gonna be an entire border here. We still need like something, I'm not pretty sure. And then we got the US front here. Uh, with four or five full strength armies. I'm just currently training them because they're all green. So it's also technically all green. Let's actually train those two. And then we have one for Hawaii, one for Philippines, and then we have just one for just all sort of random miscellaneous islands. So. Neat. Uh, You can probably just put in the action on naval support. Which is more accurate. Oh. At least that. So right now we are technically ready to go to war. Let's go to a bunch of planes or two. Um, but well, we'll see when we are actually ready. I suppose. So. Okay. Uh, we now have enough experience to do a destroyer. Escort and it's probably kind of overkill to do it like this sort of furrow. Wait, sorry, we don't want that. Uh, type 2 sonar. This one type 5 radar or 4. Uh, we don't really want torpedoes because we're not going to do a torpedo attack. So this will be the escort. Right. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. With that in mind, let's start maybe making some of them. You can join the escort fleet. Uh, quite a lot of screens actually. Let's tune that back a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if we can make subs yet. Oh, what? Oops. Per snorkel. Oh, what? So you don't actually have a snorkel or radar. Well, I guess you just inherently has but the stump surfer the surface detection. So this is gonna be fine. What are you though? Oh, yeah, this is later what we're doing. Okay. Uh, so fjords minus twenty percent visibility, shallow sea plus one hundred percent visibility. This is important. Uh, the potions. Okay, so this will be just be the nineteen forty raider. My cap spells one out. Like two of those. Uh, I think it's gonna look cooler as well, actually. Okay, so let's actually go and assign the fleets now as they properly should. So, need you there and there and there. And I think I'm gonna put you on naval innovation support right now, at least initially. Uh, you should probably be as well. Oh, I would help. I actually will see if that does anything. Uh, then we should probably stop drilling these. I'm thinking. Oh. Wait, if you shift click. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, we could start first making more of an escort fleet again. That's hugely important or something. The screens. We got 25 screens there. I guess for now we'll just wait for that. Okay. Oh. Actually, maybe we should just do this now. So we don't care about this one, and this one has no effect. Yes, please. Uh, let's make a new one just there for now. So let's wait for all of them to sort of get into position. Also, like Tibet, for example, has nine military factories. Like, I feel we should just start invading nations based upon their factory size. So, let's have you invade Afghanistan. Because uh, we can justify, yeah, quite short on time. Well, I guess you. Okay, let's. Um, let's 
stop drilling you. You can take Tibet. Don't have mountaineers yet. And Nepal has like also seven military factories. That's not insignificant. Both of these actually have a decent amount of stuff. Okay. Uh, Iran has also these manufacturers, although that is a little bit of a large innovation. Although it will actually give us a fairly decent sized border with Germany actually. So we should probably just do one point. Uh, yeah, I think we should. to get into position that's another 120 oh right okay so you can join here purple stuff and I'll give you a commander and then we got 48 more divisions uh, Our cruiser again. We can't start using them because we don't have naval experience. Which sucks a bit. Let's do that. Uh, the Hawaii front is still needing a little more. Oh, they actually finish. I'm actually finished. Okay. I think we're on cannons for fighters. Let's actually go make some fighters. Uh, can we race for the bomb? That probably means like that the US has nukes. Okay. Well, let's figure out something else we should do. Get better anti tank. Okay. And now I think it's time we justify against the US. I guess what I also can just do is just have all of them go. But front is in position, last 60 days. I think let's wait for the other one or the one just when you're against US. So let's declare war. Let's call our allies. And let's see how probably this, uh, this will go. Okay, apparently we already have some. Oh, I just failed. Seeing green arrows here, though. That's good. Are you seriously? Oh, really? Send this list. Okay. Took wake. Uh, you're on the go. Seems to be winning there. Let's in with the bet. Okay. 
Okay, I'm a little fell. Okay. Just start by capturing this around here. And then this here can take push up to there. Okay. So I'm trying to see. Right, I guess we don't have any convoy escort here actually. That's going good. Oh, we are Against the pile. Okay, so how is stuff going here? Uh, these two are not going, presumably because we're missing naval support. Uh, Tibet capitulated, giving us like 4,000 trucks is insanely good, by the way. How about that? That oh okay, so this point we're doing that. Who can Yeah, let's do that. Conorator battle results. Cannons is actually going to sun a some better airplanes, I guess. Why are you in our division? So annoying. I'm thinking that's just because like. Uh, also the fleet there. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Mexico. Are they not gonna take all this stuff? Oh, steel. Right. I guess literally at this point the only one we can actually try to get with is gonna be the is gonna be Germany. Still understand why like wait, wait is there like any no I still like don't know why we can't just do a land border again with Germany like a land trader I'm guessing because of some sort of like um what is it because of some sort of like uh thing with uh Like maybe we're missing uh, trains or something. Train route. Okay. Who else needs stuff? So we know our stuff in Guam. No, sorry, they're, they're actually waiting. Uh, Wake Island was doing what stuff? Do we wait? Oh, we landed there. We just landed there as well. Oh, you know, we might actually just be that good when it comes to naval missions, actually. I don't think we did anything against Midway. 
I guess this one we also do have actual marines. Do not have marines. No. Oh. Do not have more marines. Thirty-six divisions. Okay. Uh, let's uh, merge some of these with midway with the uh, ten divisions. From there to there, and you could probably just go. Stop there. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can just. Oh. We have a mission plan for this. This may actually be the other one. And I guess, like, another thing as well is we'll get actually pretty ridiculous amounts of just supply from this as well. Like, 10,000 trucks. Like, that might just mean we can just basically stop uh, doing trucks out here. Oh, there isn't actually anything here, right. A bit used for... Oh, Pearl Harbor. Oh, there we go. You can go there, and the rest of you can go there. There's some trips there. Okay. So that is Hawaii. Which in theory should now actually give us naval range towards the US. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I guess this just needs to maybe update a little bit. Oh, actually we probably blew this up. Yeah, we did. So to convert it, uh, actually. What we at least can do is this armor right here. Well, we can't do a lot of troops here. But I really only care about. Okay, we probably can, I think, put it. Stable so weight from there to there. Actually, I'm going to go there as well. I'm going to wait. So. You're gonna get a turn. Alright, let's take Afghanistan. Uh, oh, do not have chips in there. Oops. Uh, okay, sure. Right, so we capitulated, giving us a whole bunch of stuff. This one tracks this point. Uh, I think we have like lacking. We could start producing medium tanks, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be super important. Let's keep our light tanks. Also, like the stuff that taking steel would be nice to remove. Like light tanks, I guess. Uh, okay, so I guess at this point we're gonna have to actually naval invade here. Yeah, 
And also we need to enable wait. From there to there as well. Okay. That is that. Yes. Uh, you should have to go. We just made the enable supremacy. So you can join there as well. Oh, there's actually troops there. That is a lot of troops. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty important. Oh, you know, they actually might try to activate the naval invades. That's not good. So, in actual fact, that means this 24 army here. You can probably naval invade from there to there. You're going to be having a lot better chance of this. Yeah. Afghanistan capitulated. Iran will go next. So. Here and the tanks as well. There's Let's take all the foreign stuff. Okay. Yeah, you can just like let's grant it around. Okay. Anyway, so that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and source. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.